So Isaac, do you like my cooking? What cooking? My cooking of beads. Cooking of beads. Sure. Yes. Well, see, I never cooked a bead before, except actually, no, I did with my mother when I was like four, uh, and it was like one of those something fell ceramicy beads. Uh, this is an oven, I think. Yes, this sounds like an oven that I bought specifically for cooking beads. And yes, I'm talking about perler beads, which are like for kids. But I found out that you can make really cute like designs that you melt and they can be turned into earring pendants and they're 3D. So my acrylics that I cut, they have to be flat because it's all flat. And I can only make it 3D by engraving or by um, layering and then it becomes heavy and it's just not, not as cute as it could be. It could be perfectly oh, 3D. Comes with a little mitten. And you know, if I was a proper crafter, I could be like polymer clay, which I have, or resin, which I also have, but I don't have patience for those things. So I bought a tiny little oven. Hmm. It is really tiny. Oh, and not only are we going to use this to create pendants out of perler beads uh, for our earrings, we're also going to see if we can melt acrylic sheets and reuse them. And it is very small. Obviously, ideally, we use a bigger one and we could use our oven, but we don't want to put plastic into an oven that cooks food. And we're going to see if it works. Uh, this thing goes up to, I think, 500 Fahrenheit? 450. 450. And to cook acrylic, <laughs> cook acrylic, melt acrylic, I think it needs to be 360. So we're going to try that. And if it breaks this oven, that's fine. It was $30. We cannot spend more than that on cooking beads. We could also take my leftover PLA and see if we can melt that and make uh, sheets out of it. Leftover, aka ruined. Mm. You made a few very horrory things. Yes. You mean sheets out of PLA to cut my acrylic cutter? Sure. Yeah. Can you? I don't know. I don't know if Let's that's find out. Material. Subscribe to find out. So what do you mean? What are you recycling? When you cut out a heart. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter how good you are at getting it all lined up. There'll still be extra material that you can't do anything with. Uh, unless you're doing all hexagons. Even if you are, there'd be a little line Even in between. You are. Yeah. It's, it's really impossible. So um, it's plastic. And we used to be... They were waste vegans. And now we're <laughs> wasteful meat eaters. But... Sorry. Smiley! Stop. Smiley! And to avoid having more plastic in the landfill just to make cute things, we want to recycle these. Try. Yeah, I don't know about that. Them. That'll be that'd be interesting to try with the scattered ones. Uh, I mean, very with the easy. Pattern ones. We put the alcohol on to yeah. remove that. Still, nice. it'll be clear. Oh, okay. There's, then it'd just be clear. Yeah. It'll just be clear. And we can mix clear with other colors and make cool, cool. colors. Yeah. All right. Well, subscribe to find out whether or not this works. Watch us fail. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Science, Mr. White. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Hi. This is Olana. And I'm Isaac. We're, we're moving, moving to Hawaii. Hawaii. But first... We're driving from New York City to Seattle. With Smiley, our nine-year-old rescue pity. In our Tesla Model 3, equipped for camping. And we are funding this trip with our Etsy store. Meaning we are bringing around 50,000 earrings. And 500 envelopes. And our label printer. On this 11-day cross-country road trip. Subscribe to the Travel Bug Bite today! If you liked our video, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Check out our videos from all around the world and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching!